Hi everyone, welcome back to BBA to Z. Uh, in our last episode, we talked about how to use BBA to create a SharePoint list for you. And now we are into the ADO method where we'll be using a little bit of SQL and then the ADO uh, the programming uh, with BBA to reach out and you know to connect to the SharePoint, uh, sync the data, append the data, you know, add the data and delete the data. It's gonna be pretty much the same code, but uh, let's uh, you know explore more into this. So before going ahead, um, let me just tell you that these are not complicated codes. You don't have to be a programmer. These are very simple syntax that I'm going to introduce to you and then I'm sure you'll be able to follow along. Uh, if you have any questions uh, from earlier videos or from this video, um, like I've said, please do not you know, uh, hesitate but just put in a comment and then uh, I'll try to uh, reach out, come back to you as soon as possible. All right, so first thing what we need to do uh, with uh, working with ADO is um, I'm just going to create a new particular uh, workbook. I'm just going to save this as an uh, Excelism file. And I'm going to call this as uh, ADO BBA and then SharePoint just for now. Okay, and then um, this gonna first go and copy the code the first code that we'll be looking into um, okay so if I try to you know uh, go ahead and debug this code it says that uh, user defined type not defined as in it did not understand this ADO DB dot connection so this is because when you have to work with ADO you need to create a reference uh, to the ADO uh, library. So first thing what you need to do here is um, you need to go to tools and then you need to go to your reference and then um, you need to add a reference to Microsoft ActiveX data objects whatever is latest. So I'm just gonna show you how you can get this. All these you know available references are sorted uh, alphabetically so just press on M and then we'll look for Microsoft uh, you know this one Microsoft uh, ActiveX data objects and then I have 2.2.8 which is the latest so I'll just reference this and then I'll click on OK so if I try to go back here and click on debug now it works because you know it has a reference to that particular uh, system files basically so first thing we're going to learn today is um, to sync the data from SharePoint uh, using uh, ADO method, okay, programming. So uh, here, first thing first, um, this is going to walk you through this a little bit. So first part here is basically this too, is saying that CNT dim cnts adodb dot connection so i'm just saying that this is going to be my connection uh you know i'm declaring that cnts will be a connection and then rst you know will be record set and then my sql will be string where i'll be putting a string later on to connect it to our um list and then this connection string is coming from um uh, I got this string for your reference. I'm gonna put this in our slide as well. Uh, I'm just gonna go here. So if you go to this connection string dot com slash SharePoint, you'll be able to see all the you know connection strings that are available you know for you to connect to SharePoint. Um, let me see. If you want the connection string for anything like uh, for any of the database or servers. Uh, it's available in this particular site. It's really awesome. I recommend you to go there and you know uh, find out uh, you know connection string for your Excel, for your MS Access database, for your SQL Server, SharePoint Server, and so on. Uh, if you're working with uh, uh, other you know database and cubes as well, you can go there and try to find it. So I'm just gonna just go here and. Um, this is where you can need to scroll down. You'll see that there are different type of um, 
you know string based on um, you know for read update and delete you can use this and for read only you can use this and so on so I've put in I've already put in the string together for you so you don't have to worry you can use this for um, retrieving the information and even to write back so that's the one I'm using right now read update and delete so if I copy this and then it has a little bit of documentation on what is what in this particular string So this this is just for a reference. I've copied it, copied it from there. So if you look here, like the provider is Microsoft, you know all this 12.0, and then you have the retrieve IDS, and then you have the name of the site, and then you have the name of the list. So if uh, you've been following along with uh, the previous videos, I have uh, given instruction on everything on how to. Uh, get the list ID, which is basically the GGU ID, and then the site name, all this. So let me go back to our list that we have created, which is called Fin Data TV. Okay, this is our database, and then um, let me go back and get our GU ID here. This is the the ID that we generated earlier. And then I'm gonna, you know, update this. The name of the site still remains the same, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it as it is. But uh, for you, you have to update this as well as this. So anything within this curly bracket. And then um, for, for now, since our the name of the database is um, uh, Fin uh, Data TV, I'm just gonna copy this. Oops, how do you copy this? okay let me just take this come back to our code and i'll say select all from this table so for now i'm just gonna use this i'm just gonna say that my sql is this so basically this sql string right now the command that we want to pass in this connection is we're saying that select everything from this table and then later on we'll write a code to retrieve the data that is returned from this connection okay so first is a declaration and then we are, are setting up our connection and then uh, with this connection we're putting that this will be you know like the drivers or you know the things that will uh, bridge you know excel with sharepoint and then um, this is my connection string and then i'm saying using this string just open this connection and then after it is open, I'm opening my RST, which is basically the table. So I'm saying open the table, and then the condi uh, all the parameters that you need to open right now is uh, open. This is my SQL that will be select all from this particular table, all right? So if you just put a comma to any of this, you'll see that open, and then here is my source, and then this is my connection, which is coming from here. And then this is my cursor type, and then this is um, uh, the log type. Okay, so since uh, we'll be just retrieving the data, I'm just using forward only and uh, uh, log read only because we don't have to update the data and anything. So this part is uh, opening my connection, and then this is where I'm opening my table. And then after I open my table, I'm saying that if this particular syntax is uh, basically just checking that uh, if there is a data or not so if this table does not have any data or let's say that if I put in a parameter or a filter uh, it might not have the data that you're looking for so it's sometimes it's important to have this particular line basically this line is saying that if this particular SQL or uh, the table that I'm opening right now on this is not having any record then um, no if it has the data then just print this data just copy from record set to you know to this particular cell which is a1 cell 1 1 is a1 row number and column number and then it's copying from this rst that way just open and then after that is checking this uh c bool is basically uh it just convert our statement to true or false 
so basically this part is just checking if the table is open just close them and then just clear clean up the memory and the same thing for the connection so that's all for now uh, trying to explain the the code structure let's try to run this and see if this works for us so I'm just gonna go to our new data uh, you know table that we have uh, created and then let's run it and see if it will return the data alright so it returned all the data for us from there it has 29 so if you go to list and then if you go to fin data table it has 29 records so it synchronized or it retrieved all the information for us from the uh, from the data uh, from our SharePoint fin data TV from this table all right so before we um, go ahead to our next topic let's uh, put in uh, one more code let's say that uh, you want to do a retrieval for uh, the item which is uh, where the item is equal to salaries so I'm just gonna get this okay I'm just gonna go back here and then I'll see where where item is equal to salaries just get rid of this call this item okay so I'm saying that retrieve uh, from this table and then where the item you know the I'm um, you see that I'm putting these brackets um, you know uh, the score brackets on the object names so it becomes easier for the code to you know um, understand it and then uh, I'm putting my filter here is my salaries so let's try to run it and see if it works so I'm gonna just clear everything off here I'm just gonna go back and run this so it just retrieve all the information where you know my item is equal to salaries okay so that's all for now in this video uh, please feel free to comment and uh, reach out to me uh, you can find my email ID as well as uh, you know other references available in the, the description and then I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible if you have any questions thank you so much for watching see you in the next video bye bye